What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be building my own custom guitar on the Balgear Guitars Online Guitar Builder. Custom guitars are quite the hot commodity in today's guitar world, and I mean, who wouldn't want to put their own stamp on a guitar with the colors that they want, the pickups, the bridge, and much, much more? Well, anyone that says no to that is completely lying. I remember when I was growing up, having a custom guitar seemed so out of reach that you wouldn't even dare try to make a custom guitar. You would go to the manufacturer's website and there would be a form for you to fill out with all these different options and some of the options you really wouldn't be able to tell how they were going to turn out. And you wouldn't even be able to see the guitar until you commit to buying it and it would show up on your doorstep. So it was absolutely a crapshoot. And on top of that even, the price tag was extremely, extremely daunting. Well. Over the past couple of years, brands like Balgear Guitars have made the custom guitar building process so, so much easier and actually a ton of fun as well with the online guitar builder. You can get lost and look up at the clock and it's 1 a.m. from you building and tweaking guitar builds and just spend way, way too much time doing that, but you can keep doing that until you get the perfect match for you. And before we begin, now, if you haven't yet, would be a perfect time to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notifier so that you keep up to date with all the new videos that I am gonna be putting out. So I'm sure you're about as eager as I am to start. So let's, let's get to building. All right, so this is the main screen when you come into the online guitar builder here. There are all these different body types for you to choose from, so let's kind of go through a few of them and see which one we want to do. There's the Diablo, that guy's looking pretty cool. Um, the Astra is kind of their version of like a Les Paul type body style. Let's see, Astra DC arc, archetype's pretty, it's looking pretty good. I, I'm leaning towards the archetype right now. There's a Spada looking pretty cool. What else they got? All right, Woodman, okay. I, I'm gonna say the archetype is is stealing my heart. I think the archetype's where it's at. And then when it you choose your body type, you're gonna come to this screen and you can choose the color of the background if you want. You can go white or you can go gray. I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. I'm not too picky about that. Though I will say I'm not a fan of the pick guard on this guitar, so I'm going to come over here to the components and let's let's get rid of that guy. I just think, at least personally speaking, I think they're a little tacky looking, but you know, if you like them, you like them. I think that's great. And then down here where I, basically where I turned off the pick guard, there's all the different options. You have your general options, you have your body options, the neck, components, and uh, you can load up the presets for each of the body styles, and you can also download the image, which I think is pretty cool. So let's start with the general options. As far as dexterity goes, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do a right-handed guitar. Construction method. Okay, so this is gonna be your neck. Do you want a bolt-on neck? Do you want a set neck or do you want a neck through? I think I'm gonna go a little fancy on this one and we're gonna do the neck through. And then number of strings, as you guys know, I mostly play seven string guitars. So seven's where it's at, we're gonna go with that. You can also uh, do your tuning and you can do like a custom gauge string and tuning. So I always do drop A, and actually I use a 10 through 62 gauge. I do the skinny top heavy bottom Ernie balls for the seven string. So I'll fill that in here. There we go. And save that. You can also come down here, you can choose a multi-scale uh, fan fret guitar if you want. Um, 
I'm not going to do that today because I mostly play on a lot of guitars that have a tremolo system, whether it's Floyd Rose or not. I'm just so used to having the Floyd Rose and I have a horrible, horrible habit of writing guitar riffs that need the Floyd Rose. So I'm going to just stick with what I know. As far as scale length, I'm going to do the 25.5 inch scale length. You can also choose which uh, case you want. I think default, the Balgear guitars come with a soft shell case, which I think is great branding. It's really a cool addition just to make you feel really special on the inside. Um, the hard shell case, obviously $100, $120 extra. So I'm just going to stick with the, the gig bag. And I have heard that the gig bag is kind of a hybrid between like a, a hard case and a soft shell case. All right, body. So the model, if you want to change the model while you're in here, you can do that there. As far as the contour goes, you can choose a flat top or a bevel top looks like for this one. So I'm going to leave it on bevel top. I find them more comfortable to play on the construction. Okay, you can do solid body chambered there's a semi hollow as well, but I'm going straight solid body today. All right, the wood. Okay, there's core wood and there's top wood. Now we're really getting into the whole aesthetic of it. So for the top wood, there are all these different options for you. Actually a ton of, a ton of options. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I've always wanted a poplar burl guitar. I just think the texture looks really, really cool. And with just a nice warm, warm natural color, I think is just gorgeous. So we're going to do the poplar burl veneer. There we go. All right. And for the core wood, this is going to be basically the rest of the body, the most of the body, really. And they have alder wood selected here, and I'm fine with alder. There's mahogany, ash, roasted ash, and corina, but I don't really need anything terribly fancy. I'm not very picky about that stuff, so I'm gonna leave it on alder. And then color. Okay, you get to choose your type of color, so you can do just a solid color, you can do a metallic finish, a see-through burst. Um, I wanna do the see-through burst on this one because I was talking about the poplar burl with a warm finish on it. So we'll do the see-through burst and then it's gonna show you all these different colors here. And what's, what's the see-through burst green? All right, wait, that's, oh man. That's a tough one. You guys know how I love my green and black, but you know, I'm going to uh, that. Okay. That might be the next guitar. So let's go back here and what's the burst two tone. Okay. So that's kind of what it was before, but then it fades out to a black burst. That is pretty cool. But I think I want something just a little bit warmer. There it is. There it is. That's that's the dream. That's what <laughs> that is so cool looking. Okay. As far as binding goes, um, I'm not extremely picky when it comes to that, so I'm just going to leave that alone. The finish, you can do a gloss finish or a satin finish. Most of my guitars are actually a gloss finish. I do have some satin finish guitars, but what I don't like about the satin finish is that the more you play on it, you rub like a gloss part off on it and it's like shiny. You can see where your hand lays on the guitar. So I, that's probably what I don't like about the satin finishes. I think they look amazing, but I like to play my guitars a lot. So I'm going to leave it on a gloss finish. Let's head over to the neck options. Let's choose our headstock. Okay, classic headstock, modern two-tone, which is what we were on, the classic two-tone. Um, you know what? I think the extreme inline is kind of uh, kind of calling my name. Okay, and then you can choose the pattern you want. I like, I want to go 
dark on this one because obviously I want to make a very metal guitar. And that headstock is looking awesome. Nice and pointy, you can take someone's eye out on stage with it. Hopefully not, but you could. And then the neck wood. Well, there's only two options here for that. So it looks like you can choose other options, but for some reason, there are only the two five piece options available. So there's a five piece roasted maple and two walnut stringers. And then there's a five piece maple and two walnut stringers. So like I said, I wanted to keep this pretty dark because I want it to be very metal looking. So I'm going to do the roasted maple. And plus, the roasted maple is huge nowadays. People are loving that stuff. And the neck profile. So I do a lot of lead guitar, so I'm going to go with the thin D versus the comfy C. It's a little thinner, a little faster. Though I will say I've never, I've never actually played on a thin D uh, neck profile. So that'll be that'll be interesting if I do get this guitar neck back color okay you can match the body and neck finish and then you can just do a satin natural poly well i mean we went ahead and went with the five piece neck and i kind of like having that texture with the two stringers going through it so i'm just going to do the satin finish on it and it's actually the satin finishes on the necks are pretty comfy not gonna lie the truss rod access, you can choose it to be up towards the headstock or towards the heel. Um, I'm fine with leaving it at the headstock. That's where I'm used to it being. All right, fretboard wood, here we go. So right now it's at maple. There's a roasted maple, uh, roasted bird's eye maple, ebony wench, let's see. Pale moon ebony, what does that look like? That's not bad. I, it, you know, every time I see the Pale Moon Ebony on a picture, I'm absolutely in love with it. I, I love it, but I'm not sure if I'm digging it on this guitar, though. So let's come up here. Ebony. Ebony is where it's at. You know, I, I have a lot of guitars with Ebony, and... I do find ebony to be extremely comfortable to play on, so I'm I'm gonna go with ebony on that. The number of frets, 22, so I'm gonna go 24. I'm a lead player, I wanna be able to do my thing and, and really get up on those higher frets for the solos. And then inlays. So right now we're on the center dot with three dots on uh, the 12th fret. I kind of like, oh, what? You can do LED dot inlays? Oh, that's so cool, except uh, $320 for that. And I, I'm i not even gonna try. <laughs> so uh, I'll do the offset dots. I think they're kind of classy looking or kind of modern even looking. And then you can choose the material of your inlays. So I'll just stick with Perloid. There we go, perfect. The fretboard side dots, um, you can do black, white, all, I'm always going with the lumen lay, especially being on stage, to be able to see what the heck I'm playing, I need those lumen lay. And then fretboard binding, like I said on the body binding, I'm just not, not much of a binding kind of guy. And then the components, you can choose your hardware color, we're going, it's a metal guitar, we're going black. Though the black chrome could possibly look pretty cool as well. Well, we'll, we'll stick with the black. And then the bridge. Like I mentioned before, um, I'm going with a Floyd Rose. So there's the Floyd Rose original right down here. And then they also have an Evertune, which I think is great. A great addition. They have a lot of different options here for you to choose from. They have a Contour, Hip Shot, Tremolo. But I'll do the Floyd Rose because that's what I'm mostly used to. And pick guard. Nope, definitely don't want that. Uh, pickups, here we go. All right, you can choose if you want active pickups or passive. I'll do passive. They just, they work and they don't push it so hard that it's so compressed. 
I like a little bit of dynamics. So we'll do humbucker. Uh, you can choose between Balgers pickups. Um, there's guitar mori uh, pickups, and then bare knuckle pickups, which. You know, I absolutely love bare knuckle pickups, but I was listening to some of the Balgear pickups earlier and I was I was digging them. They sounded pretty cool actually. So, let's check out them and it's no it's it's not too much of an additional cost for those pickups either. And I was listening to them and I know the Evergreen was really good for like rock and hard rock and then there was the feral pickups that totally blew me away they were really good for modern metal and and just kind of that really chunky sound so i think i'm gonna go ahead and go with the feral and the black cover is fifty dollars or i can do let's see here or i can just do the regular pull pieces yeah, you know, since I, I'm I'm treating myself a little bit here, we'll we'll do the we'll do the black cover. I like the the soap bar kind of look, and then we'll come back over here and let's select the neck position pickup, and I'll probably do the feral for that one as well. The black cover, oh yeah, that's looking so good. Oh my gosh. It's like love at first sight. <laughs> um, pickup rings, nah, don't really need them. I'm not, I'm not much of a pickup ring guy. The control pattern, okay, you get to choose how you want your knobs set up. So this one's all blocked out, so you can't do that. You can do a custom wiring, which is pretty cool. You can do if you want simplicity. You can do the one one volume knob and a three way switch but I always do the two knobs in the one switch, so I'll just do that. And also, the two knobs, it's a push-pull on tone knob, so you can coil tap. So I'll go ahead and just do that. I'll stick with that. And then uh, lastly, uh, you can choose, you can choose what kind of knobs you want. So the metal dome, I've always loved those ones. You can do all, all these different options here. I'm gonna stick with the metal dome because it's just, they look, they look cool, you know, even though it is a default thing, I, I've always thought they've looked pretty cool. <sighs> now that we've built it, this is, this is a good looking guitar. All right, I have a lot to think about, so I will catch you guys here in a second and uh, we've built it. Here's the guitar. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. As you can see, it's a ton of fun building on these online guitar builders. And Balagir Guitars is not the only brand that has a online guitar builder. Actually, Kiesel has a really good one as well that's fairly new. So if you guys would like to see me build a Kiesel guitar on their online guitar builder, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you just so happen to see this guitar that we built today on one of my next videos, just know I lost the battle and could not resist the allure of buying a brand new guitar once again. And if you guys could smash that like button, that would be a huge help. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notifier so that you never miss a video of mine ever again. My name is Chris with High Impact Audio and I will see you next time.